Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Buy This, Not That, here on The Axe. This one is pretty interesting because it's basically between two guitars that are so similar, it's almost impossible to choose the better value. But unfortunately, only one guitar can come out victorious. All right, this is The Axe, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name's Nick. Today, we're pitting two beautiful white Super Strat guitars against each other to figure out which one gives you more metal for your money. The only thing is that they're like ridiculously similar. We're looking at the stunning Solar A1 6FR Vinter and the LTD M-Series 1000. As you can see, they're pretty similar in the cut, the color, and the finish, and they come in both at $12.99. Per usual, we'll take a look at a few things to include construction, hardware, electronics, trim, and appearance. All right, let's start with construction, people. The M1000 and the Venter both rock an alder body, ebony fretboard, maple neck, and a 25.5 scale. Under the finish, the LTD actually sports a three-piece maple neck, which is a nice little plus. The truss rod adjustment on both of these guitars are located at the headstock, and both of these have stainless steel fret wire. One notable difference between the M1000 and the Vinter is the fretboard radius. The Solar is a straight 350 millimeter, which equates to just about 13.5 inches, and the LTD is a 300 to 400 millimeter compound radius, which equates to just about 12 to 16 inches. So if you're used to guitars like some Charvels and Ibanez, then the LTD might be a little bit more comfortable for you. Now, both of these bad boys are set through construction, meaning that the neck is actually set into the body and glued in place. This is different than neck through, where the neck is actually continuous and is actually a part of the actual guitar body. For reference, Les Pauls are set through where they're secured to the actual guitar body. There's like a million different ways to set a neck into a guitar body, but that's a whole nother video. Lastly, the knob placement on both of these guitars kind of differ. With the Solar, the knobs are more in the rear, and with the LTD, the volume knob is basically directly under the bridge pickup. All right, moving on to hardware. So in this area, this might be where these two guitars look like they kind of differ the most. Both have a Floyd, so they have a locking nut at the top. The Solars is a chrome locking nut with black bolts, while the LTD is a black locking nut with stainless steel bolts. Now the rest of the hardware on the Venter is like a silvery chrome and it looks clean. It's got silver locking Solar uh, machine heads, and then it's also got the two silver dome knobs. So the LTD has mainly black hardware to include Grover machine heads, and two dome style knobs th that are black. Now the contrast between black and white on the LTD is cool, but I don't know if it beats the Vinter's like clean ice, you know, just polar look. But as always, that's for you to decide. All right, so now let's look at electronics. So I wasn't kidding when I said these guitars were pretty similar. Both the Vinter and the M1000 rock Fishman Fluence Modern in both the neck and the bridge position. They also both have a push-pull voice change capability that allows you to go from like a high output active setting to a more passive attack. Now Fishmans are getting crazy popular and can be found on some of the best guitars by like an array of different brands. The M1000 sports the Fishmans that are kind of black and subdued and really look good contrasting to the white on the guitar. The Venter stays consistent with that silver finish on its Fishmans. Now if you were to draw like comparisons on both of these guitars in this area, you'd have to flip them over. On the back, the Venter has a nine volt housing that's really easy to access with just a tab. Whereas the M1000 kind of has that traditional plate where you have to unscrew it and then change the nine volt that way. Just a little bit more cumbersome, but not a big deal. Moving on to trims, and you know this is probably my favorite area. Both of these guitars rock a version of the Floyd Rose 1000. This is a quality trim based off the original Floyd Rose design, it's just crafted in Korea. I actually do a video right here talking about the Floyd Rose 1000 and other Floyd Rose licensed trims. I'll put a link in the description. So now the Venter comes stock with a Floyd Rose 1000 that's completely chrome and silver and it just continues that silver awesome finish. Now the M1000 has, in my opinion, the cooler trim of the two. The LTD actually sports a Floyd Rose 1000 SE which comes stock with stainless steel hardware and it just looks really cool. It looks great with that black hardware because it gives it that hot rod look without the original Floyd Rose hot rod price. All right, lastly, let's check out appearance because we all know the key to playing good is looking good. So right off the bat, these bad boys are like blindingly white. The Venter really echoes that like frost giant blizzard beast look with the silver hardware and the polar white finish. It also has those exaggerated, really sharp horns 
that kind of distinguish it from other super strats on the market. Now flip it over and it looks like the snow scene from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back with the finished neck that's just all white. I mean, it looks like winter, winter, right? And lastly, the Solar uh, logo at the headstock is a nice touch with that like silver. Now the LTD M1000 is a beautiful looking guitar, my friend. The black hardware with like the stainless steel screws on the trim just give it that unique kind of look. It's got more of a traditional super strat cut for all you purists out there. And then it's got that classic reverse uh, LTD signature headstock. Lastly, it also had that polar white finish on the back of the neck, which just looks pretty cool. All right, we have a tough decision here and we gotta figure out which one of these gives you more metal for your money. These two guitars are probably the closest contest of the Buy This Not That series. But when it's all said and done, I'm gonna have to go with the Solar Venter, but Here's why. The Venter, in my opinion, is a more harmonious package. All the hardware is silver, it matches, and it looks super clean. Also, you get silver locking machine heads and a nine volt battery housing that's just way easier to kind of use. Now, a personal preference on the Solar that maybe some of you would consider is that the knobs on the Solar are more to the rear of the guitar. This is important to me because when the knobs are really close to the bridge pickup, my pinky tends to turn the guitar down and halfway through my solo, I'm wondering why the gain or, you know, I'm not sounding the way I need to sound. All right, I do have an alibi, so hear me out. As you know, I usually look at where the guitars are made and kind of compare those based off, you know, manufacturing and QC. While I found that the Solar is constructed in Indonesia, I couldn't really verify for sure where the M1000 was actually manufactured. I'm pretty sure it was Indonesia or Korea, but I just wasn't sure. So I didn't want to compare something that I really didn't have the facts about and didn't want to like mislead y'all. I hope y'all can understand that. All right guys, so that's just my two cents. Let us know what you think. If you have either one of these guitars, hit the like button and tell us in the comments. Tell us all about it. With that said, I just wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by the channel today. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to catch more videos like this. Otherwise, I will catch you later.